Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, guys. So, how are you today? I hope all of you guys are still healthy and are great. So, before we learn about new materials today, please, David, lead your friends to take a break before. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, David. So, today we are going to learn about recount text. But before I explain about recount text, there are several things that I want to inform you about these materials. So, uh, here is uh, the outline of these materials. The first one, learning objectives. So, what are the learning objectives uh, to this? Recount text. So the, uh, the le there are several learning objectives that you are try to uh, to identify or to explain or to arrange uh, the recount text. The first one is you are gonna uh, identify the general structures of recount text. Or in Indonesia, uh, kalian diharapkan untuk dapat mengidentifikasi struktur text recount dalam memberi dan meminta informasi terkait peristiwa bersejarah dengan benar dan tepat. Kemudian yang kedua, you have to explain the general structure of recount text. Kalian harus menjelaskan struktur uh, generik dari recount text itu sendiri dalam hal memberi dan meminta informasi terkait peristiwa bersejarah dan Persiwa bersejarah yang dimaksud di sini adalah persiwa bersejarah yang ada di Indonesia. And the last thing is you have to arrange the general structure of the recount text. Jadi kalian akan menyusun general structure dari recount text yang diberikan. As we can see here, we are going to learn about recount text. So uh, actually, uh, before we explain about recount text, I want to ask you several questions. That the first one, uh, when you were in your junior high school or senior high school, did your teacher or did your teacher tell you about uh, the, the history of Indonesia that uh, related about recount text? Yeah, that's right, Daniel. So uh, the recount text actually related about the, if, the service event in the past and uh, there are, there are there are significance when we learn about recount text. And here, as we can see on the screen, this is a one of the service event of Indonesia about the historical event, especially in Indonesia. And here is uh, the the text is as we can see here that uh, the picture talk about the proclamation of Indonesia. So. Uh, the proclamation of Indonesian independence was read at 10 a.m. on a Friday, 17 August 1945. This is the first paragraph. And the second paragraph is the document was signed by Sukarno, who signed his name Sukarno using the older Dutch orthography, and Muhammad Hatta, who were appointed the president and vice president, respectively, the following day. This is the second paragraph. And as we can see here, there are four paragraphs on the on the on the example of the recount text of the proclamation of Indo of Indonesia independence and the last paragraph uh, mentioned that the proclamation at 5 to 6 Jalan Puyangsan Timur Jakarta was heard throughout the country because the text was secretly broadcast by Indonesian radio personnel using the transmitters of the Jakarta Hoso Kyoku radio station an English translation of the proclamation was broadcast overseas jadi uh, ini adalah salah satu contoh dari recount text di mana recount text ini tadi dari beberapa paragraf tentunya setiap paragraf itu masuk ke dalam kategori generic structure of the recount text and here we go we are going to learn about the generic structure of recount text uh, the basic information about the recount text is there are three kinds of recount text you have to identify that you have to know about this the first one, the personal experience. This uh, type of recount text is talk about our personal experience, experience when uh, it makes our uh, life not bored, not boring, and make sometimes made me feel happy or joyful or even uh, feel upset. But uh, the second, uh, the recount text about biographies is talk about. Uh, the journey of someone who is famous in the particular country or someone who has 
uh, a big influence for others. Or uh, we could mention our, our heroes, Indonesia or Pahlawan Indonesia. And the last about historical events. Historical events talk about uh, the series even in the past, like uh, historic Indonesian historical events, the proclamations and so on, so on. And in the recontact historical event, we are gonna learn is, uh, we are gonna learn about the element. So there are several elements of recontext that are the orientation, series of event and reorientation. So here we go. Orientation, what is actually orientation? So orientation gives the readers the background information needed to understand the text, such as who was involved, where it happened and when it happened. So remember that the orientation provides several information about the basic information that we need to understand about the recon text. And the second about the events. The events uh, talk, uh, means that the, it provides a series of events ordered in a chronological sequence. So remember, events required a chronological sequence of uh, the history. And the last one about reorientation. Reorientation talk about a personal comment about the event or what happened in the end. And reorientation are usually uh, located in the last paragraph of the recount text. Now, here the example or another example of recount text about Congress Pemuda Indonesia Jakarta 27 until 28 October 1928. Here is the passages. As we can see here that uh, the first paragraphs talk about uh, orientation that I mentioned before. Uh, there, the this element or general structure provides a basic information that we needed to understand about the whole passages, the whole service event of the youth pledge. So uh, the orientation start from the the youth pledge on the twenty eighth October nineteen twenty eight and uh, until the last uh, sentence in this uh, paragraph that mentioned there are three points covered in the declaration which are one motherland one nation and one language and which one uh, is the series event of this recount text so the series event of the recount text start from the first indonesian youth congress and the second uh, the third paragraph talk about the second session discuss about education and uh, which one is uh, the orientation the orientation what i mentioned before the orientation located uh, usually located at the end of the passages. And here we can see that uh, the recount text of the youth pledge, the reorientation located in the last up to day, the date, uh, the date when the youth pledge was made is to remember and celebrated. Jadi ini tentang uh, Sumpah Pemuda, di mana pandangan penulis tentang Sumpah Pemuda ini uh, telah menjadikan bangsa Indonesia terus menghargai dan memperingati Hari Sumpah Pemuda sebagai bentuk penghargaan kepada para pahlawan yang telah mendeklarasikan bahasa Indonesia sebagai bahasa persatuan. Next, ya, yeah. as we as we have learned about the recount text about the materials of recount text, general structure, and what is the significance of the recount text. Uh, we are gonna learn. Uh, we are gonna practice uh, the recon about the recon text, especially the historical events of Indonesia. So uh, the exercise uh, of the recon text I provided through the worksheet. So remember, guys, you have to find a small group. I decided to. Uh, I recommend you guys to make three until four group, which is uh, one group consists of four until five students. And why you have to make it or complete in a, a group work, because I believe that through group work, you have a lot of experience, you have a lot of ideas to share each other. So it will help you to gain a lot of information about exercises. So uh, here is uh, the exercises, as we can see here exercises yeah here is the worksheet that you are going to complete the exercise one it's uh talk about you have to complete one until 10 essay questions it's talk about the passages that provided above the questions so uh, you have to complete uh, all of the questions 
uh, the first question and the ten question uh, based on the passages. So the first question about what is the best title of the recount text book. So before you answer all of this question, remember guys, you have to write your uh, group member identity uh, in the cover of your worksheet. And after that, uh, the member of your friends and the leader as well. And also you have to read carefully and find the answer of from the first question until the 10th question. And you have to write down, write, write them down in this paper. And the exercise two, you have to, there, there is provided, there are provided uh, several passages and you have to find out the best arrange, the best order of these passages. So remember guys, this is uh, the wrong or order or the wrong uh, arrangement of this passage. So you have to find which one is uh, the first paragraph, which one in the second, the third, and the last paragraph. And this is also mentioned about the general structure of the recount test, as I mentioned before, and I explained before. So uh, the last exercise about direction, you have to make a recount text based on the pictures provided in this worksheet. So which one do you prefer to write uh, recount text, uh, do you want to, whether you want to write a recount text about round table conference or Indonesia media, uh, conference in media bunda. And maybe you prefer to write about JTO plus PKI or room Royan agreement atau conference room persetujuan room Royan. And here you, you, uh, there is provided, uh, the blank sheet you have to write down all of the passages here okay guys i'll give you 10 until 15 minutes to complete all of them and then you have to present all of your work all of your ideas through uh this zoom through this uh platform so okay the last session about the conclusion. So I hope uh, one of you guys or two of you uh, wanna wanna be the volunteer to express their feelings or express their opinions about what we have learned about recount text. Okay, David, please, your turn. The floor is yours. Okay, David, that's right. So recount text, we have learned about recount text, what is actually recount text, the significance of recount text, and also uh, the generic structure of the recount text and the three kinds of recount text. So because David has mentioned all of the part in the section, I think that's all from our lesson material today. And remember guys, your worksheet, you have to complete uh, and send me via in group WhatsApp, done. Uh, directly message me but uh post your worksheet in our group workshop and i think that's all from our lesson material today assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh see you in the next meeting guys